Hi, I'm Chess, and you're watching Chess's Crazy Creations. Today we're going to be using milk crates for a variety of DIYs, and I can't wait to show you them. Let's get started. So sometimes we need something for dorms or apartments, or maybe you have a temporary place, or I loved these for my kids' toy room when they were younger and such. So these are great for so many things. So one of the things that is inexpensive about these is maybe you don't have a ton of money or a big budget where you can afford a big shelving unit. So these are actually built to be stacked. They actually just lock into place. So I'm gonna put this one on top of this one. There we go, got it locked in. So you can see it's pretty solid once it gets locked into place. And then I'm gonna put another one right next to it. And we use these as cubbies at Mountain Kids where I worked and was the dance director for a number of years. And we use these as cubbies and they put their tennis shoes and their water bottles and their bags or backpacks into them and then went to their classes. So we would just zip tie these for stability. But as you can see, they're pretty solid and you can go up as high as you want, as wide as you want. You can use them vertically or horizontally, but let's go ahead and put some things in it so you can get a full look at how this works. Okay, so I'm gonna just demonstrate a few things, but I mean, there's so many possibilities with them. It's just kind of amazing where you could use these in your home, whether it's a kid's room, a toy room, a kitchen, a closet, anywhere, a craft space. This shelving unit has got so many possibilities. So let's just go over, I'm just gonna go ahead and give some examples here. So maybe you need a bookshelf. So you can put your books into here. Maybe you want to just set it somewhere and it's got some decorative things on it. So that's another possibility. Um, then the other thing we might talk about is the top space here. So one thing you can do is buy these little um, serving trays and I got these from Target, but they're, you know, you can find them anywhere and you just measure the top and roughly kind of figure out the size you want and you place it on top and then it gives you, you know, more room and more space. So like I can put a lamp up here. Now, if you have something that plugs in, maybe a wax warmer or something like that, or a lamp that fits into this space, you can put the cord through the holes and then it doesn't have a bunch of cords dangling and everything too. So that's kind of nice to hide your cords as well. So the other thing that you can do is like I said, so you can put the two trays up here like so and then you can pick and move them if you need to. You can also go into a place like Lowe's or Home Depot, you go in with the measurements of what you need, depending on how long it is or how you know short it is, and you go in with those measurements of depth and width, and you, tell, you pick out the board, and they will cut it for you. So it's cut to size, and then you have a nice solid board on top, and then you can stain it to match or whatever you wanna do to decorate it from there. The other thing you can do with these is you can set them inside so things slide in and out easy depending upon maybe what you're placing on them. So you can set it like this and then, you know, say it's something like those books or something that you need to pull out or maybe your craft supplies that you wanna be able to pull out and use. This is an easy way to pull those out and use them faster or maybe you've got a homework station that you wanna pull in and out for the kiddos. Lots of possibilities, as I mentioned before. So lots of possibilities using this anywhere in your home or apartment or wherever you live. And again, these are on a budget. Now let's say you don't love the look of them. So one of the things you can do is spray paint them. Um, the other thing you can do is you could get some um, foam core board and pick out a contact paper that you like and cut the contact paper to fit inside of here. So maybe you pick like a white marbly contact paper and you cut it to size so that the back and the sides are all covered. Cover the little foam cord, glue it together so it's like an insert. Cover it with the um, contact paper and then this is, maybe you've painted all of this white and then the inside has that beautiful marble look or you can pick lots of beautiful textures. And then it even like ups, up cycles it or um, yeah, like up cycles it to a higher level. So if you want to even just do that, that's on a budget too, because that foam core board is only a dollar at the dollar store. You can get contact paper at the dollar store and just a little bit of upscaling like that. And you've got a really nice, beautiful looking shelving unit in your home on a dime. 
So that's another possibility as well. You can also mix and match. So if you want to get creative and create a space that has different things, you can you know, put your, your things together this way and zip tie them for stability. But um, again, these like are meant to attach to each other. So let's say you're in a space like your bathroom and maybe you don't want your toilet paper or something um, available for everyone to see. So you can get these little cloth baskets that you can slide in and out and create yourself some drawers essentially or you can put other baskets within a basket like so so that you create some drawers for yourself and you just have to measure your um, crates to know which size to go get and again like these both came from the dollar store so it doesn't have to cost you a fortune or you can go ahead and get maybe galvanized um, but baskets or something else if you like that better or those woven baskets but basically you can create yourself some drawers and have additional storage that way as well so we're going to utilize these small milk crates for a moment as well because they can also be used for so many different things okay so the next thing is smaller milk crates these are so helpful in a number of tight squeezy spaces as well so whether you need them in a small linen closet or underneath for storage in a bathroom maybe you don't have drawers and your cabinets are just a hot jumbled mess you can utilize these in like any direction but we're going to talk a little bit about maybe some supplies so for example lockers so the bottom half of a locker is often very underutilized. It comes with one shelf maybe on top and then you've got a coat hanging space and then there's all this room in the bottom that nobody ever uses. So you can use these vertical or horizontal depending upon which way you need them in your locker or again, imagine a pantry or a bathroom or anything. So we're gonna start with sticking one like this and then I'm gonna go ahead and stack them like so. And you can measure how many of these you might wanna use. So once again, these are great because we have stacked them, they're locked in, they're nice and solid. I'm gonna go ahead and add one more to this. And we're gonna talk about just, just again, possibilities, right? So maybe you wanna start with some, um, maybe you've got charging cords, you know, and some personal items. So you maybe put those on the bottom. Maybe your next one is some pens and highlighters and different things or craft supplies or homework supplies post-it notes and more things you need and then again they slide and stay nicely and easily maybe you um, have snacks you want to put in them and you have a glasses case or something like that and you can use them again different directions have fun mixing and matching for the space you need and then maybe you have like colored pencils or art supplies or different things that you need while you're at school and then one of my favorite tips is you know we often need scissors at school but um you know, they're not gonna fit because they're bigger as we get older, but you can put them right on top in the back. So you just have to be careful when you're reaching in a little bit, but it's, you know, keeps them so they're stored out of the way, or you can maybe put them in a corner so that as you're reaching in, being careful. Um, but that's a really great way to store the scissors as well. And again, mix and match, vertical, horizontal, lots of possibilities to add storage to your home and space. So many possibilities anywhere in your home or different environments, offices, schools, and more with this simple, simple idea. Okay, so this is our guest bathroom and there is not a lot of storage space in there. We've actually had that problem in a few areas of our home. So one of the things I like to use is these little crates and these go great under your sinks um, to help create storage vertically or horizontally, especially if you don't have any drawers. But one of the things we did is we put a nail up and we set the crate here. Now you can get creative with how many and that kind of thing. Um, you don't have to use nails. So if you live in a place that, you know, you can't put nails in the wall, I've definitely used command hooks in the past as well. Um, temporary things that you can place to hold these up as well. So one of the things that I tend to use this for is I might put an extra hand towel on it and then maybe my washcloths. So you definitely can store whatever you want in here, but now I've got extra storage room for those bathroom supplies. Another thing I like to do is place these in the house for easy cleaning. So I put them on the back of a, you know, my toilet and I might place the toilet paper in there so it's a little more hidden. 
but I also might put my air freshener in there or different things as well. This makes it for super easy cleaning so I can clean the surface by picking this up with ease and not picking up a bunch of different things. And then in addition to that, it keeps the toilet paper off the wet surface after I've cleaned so it's not warping the toilet paper or they're not sticking together. But that's another way I use these small crates. Next, we're taking the large crates outside for a seating and table hack. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take the crate and place it upside down onto the ground. Next, you can find these cushions anywhere. You can use kitchen cushions, outdoor cushions, whatever your choice is, and you simply set them on top. Now, all I do is sit down. And you can make as many of these as you need to. So, very inexpensive and easy seating for any gatherings you have or maybe you're limited on space and you have just a small patio porch deck that kind of thing the great thing about this then is when you're done and all your gathering is over you simply take the crate flip it upside down place your cushion inside you can place all of them in one if you like or whatever you choose and then you take your next crate stack it on top and you have easy storage for something like this so it's a great space saver as well. So seating on a budget as well as storage saver. Now, sometimes you need a side table or a coffee table inside or out, this works. So simply start by placing it upside down onto the ground, just like the seating. Next, what you're gonna do is take a piece of wood and place it on top. So this is super easy. This actually is one of our cutting boards. So that's one really easy way. But again, you could go to Lowe's have it cut to size and then stain it and put a place, piece of wood on top. Now, if this is too low for you, no problem. Simply add another crate here and you can make this higher to get the desired height you like. So one of my other personal favorites is to instead put this right side up and then place the piece of wood on top. This allows you to store things inside like blankets or other items, whether you're inside or out. It carries and picks up nicely, and then you place the board on top. Now you could do a mix and match combination by making the table or the seating, even this could be a storage seat, make a board that fits right on top nicely, and then add the cushion. Customize this any way you want. So one super simple idea with so many possibilities. And if you're a school teacher, these work well in a classroom as well. Another thing I love to use them for is trunk space. So I obviously have a Jeep, but you can put these in any trunk space and they fit really nice. It stops things from rolling all over the back and we've got rid of plastic bags. So um, I simply bring my crate in, I put my groceries in here at checkout and then I bring them back out and place them in. They stack nicely in my cart. I can easily do things from there. I've also been known to put our sports and different activities. So when my daughter was heavy into dance, we put the dance stuff in here. We put my son's baseball gear in here. Lots and lots of ways to use these. I've also been known if we're going up for the day to put our picnic blanket or the sunscreen and the bug spray and the snacks and anything we were gonna be needing out for the day. I bring this into the house, fill it with what we need, place it back inside. Super easy hack. Okay, I'm gonna start with this hack outside, um, but I'm gonna talk about use. So hanging file folders fit really well in these. They actually were meant for that. So you can fill these up with any filing system you want, especially if you don't wanna have a filing cabinet or they're too expensive and you wanna have something less expensive. And then when that fills up, you can stack it with the next one they lock into place and you can keep going. Or maybe the bottom half is your file folders and the top half is the next thing you wanna store in. So you can definitely do some say, space saving and do this on a budget. But let's talk about how I use this in another way. Now, as I mentioned, if I'm going to work, I will throw file folders in here and different items so that I can grab and go with one trip. So super easy. But this happens to be my physical therapy folder and I take it with me a lot when I'm going to physical therapy after having two hip surgeries and breast cancer and all of that. So I often keep this in, um, in here. I also keep a trash can. I also keep my hand sanitizer. I can slide my purse in here. I can put bug spray sunscreen, as I mentioned before, in here. But I keep this on my front seat so I can grab and go with it as I need. But most of the time it just stays on my front seat. 
um, because I don't have a lot of extra room in my car um, being a small car. But say I have one of my kids jumping in the car with me. I can easily pick this up, put it in the back, and then they can jump into the car with me and we're on the go. And then in the future, I just pick it up and move it back to the front seat. Want something a little smaller? Use one of the smaller crates and you can throw your wallet and your hand sanitizer in some of these and pick them up and bring them to go. Now I've also done things with wooden milk crates, like stack them for storage in our home. I've also added wheels to the bottom of them and added some blankets and then put them underneath one of our coffee tables or end tables for easy storage. I've also taken a bunch of crates and turned them into a fun DIY little red truck. And I hope this inspires you to try some milk crate hacks of your own. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog at chasscrazycreations.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.